I was one of the first. Started here in 52, but they say because I've been here longer than anybody, I get to choose the name. You get a name in the new school? Yep. Anything you want? Yep. So you could name it after yourself? Yes, I could. Paul Wells Elementary? Yes, I could. Probably will, but I'll use my proper name. Arthur Wells Elementary, more dignified, with a statue out front, me sweeping like this. <laughs> Won't the old lady have something to say about it? Ah, probably she's paying for it, but I'm still picking the name. Oh, you mean you're going to suggest the name? Fine, but suggesting is practically picking, and that's still something. Everybody knows that the greatest ball club of all time was the 1935 Pittsburgh Prophets of the Negro League, right? Everybody with half a brain knows that. I didn't know that. My point exactly. <laughs> Wait, I got it. The Macafriteria. <laughs> that sounds good. You should do that if the old lady lets you. Let's me? Look, this here school is my house now. She ain't the principal here no more. She ain't been here in 10 years, so she ain't in charge. Yeah, well, she's paying for the new school, so I think that makes her in charge. They say I'm the one that's picking the name, and I'm the one that's going to be the guest of honor at the groundbreaking ceremony, so that means I'm in charge. I selected you because you are the right person for the task. Well, I've been here a long time, and I know the ins and outs of this here school. Started here in 1952. I was just a handyman back then. Say that, Mr. Wells. I do not need to hear your curriculum vitae. My what? I know all I need to know about you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Here she was just... She was just a mammy. But over at the color school, she was a great teacher. That's why she was chosen to teach here. That's why she was first. I told you they wouldn't let her be a teacher. At the color school, the kids all wanted Miss Marion. That's what they called her. Lying there, enjoying his cake like nothing is happening. That hair is a messed up dream. <laughs> you told me to tell her I didn't want to. You know what the problem is with that dream? Now you're going to critique my dream. No, I'm going to fix it. See, I'm a handyman. I fix things. The problem is with them rope swings. They weren't tied right to the tree. See, I know how to make a rope swing. What that dream needs is a handyman. So, do this.